Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Xeno. You're joined by the same people who kicked it off with you. It's Ritual and Swiss Rider as we get into Cody and Mr. E, one of the biggest bangers we've had tonight, as Cody just took a two-game set over John Numbers in dominant fashion. Yes, I am very happy that I didn't get to play Cody today. I was uh, scheduled to do so for uh, Wave B, and I'm like, you know, wa watching him play, watching him just dominate John Numbers there with that last turn up there, just so good. But let's see if Mr. E can... Uh, make Cody's uh, swan song end. Oh, nice little wait there. Lots of patience going on, knowing that whoever swings first is going to be in disadvantage. And Cody, the first person today, too, did not get caught up by the oh Dolphin Slash, able to convert the punish into a stop just like that. We are seeing for the first time today Mr. E playing from behind, but in a position to find an edge guard, not able to lock it down, getting the we grab the incredibly disciplined play from him. But <gasps> no Cody way. trying to cheat. Oh, that uh, would have been so cool. I mean, it still was. Cody Cody went for the Rewired Fest combo, and that? <laughs> this man is playing with no respect. So, uh, what's the status of that 23 and me test? Are we getting that shift uh, tomorrow, overnight? <laughs> uh, I don't know whether whether he qualifies as a Swedish sniper or not. He is certainly a Stitch Face supplier, pulling yet another one from the depths. Able to pick it back up and still in hand. This is scary territory for Mr. E, but not able no to convert stitch. too much off of it. The patience from him. From I, Eric once again coming in clutch in the pit. These two players, these two players are here to win and nothing else. That's right. The spacing, so good. Oh no, that turn up though could be. All right, nice retreat to the top ledge and that off being, stage. Yeah. That being said, Peach can cover you seven ways this Sunday. Mr. E though with it's the a discipline to Ooh. not die immediately, but no Cody discipline with for the, the punish. Well, at that point you just kind of have to hope that, that Cody commits, right? Like, there isn't a lot that Lucina can do with no Legend Zone to get out of Dodge Flare without a commitment, especially when Cody's playing as patient as he is. Like, that retreat to then find a combo from mid-stage was gorgeous stuff. Yeah, you didn't get Cody, a long one, but you forced Mr. E to the corner, and without the space to move and mix up his spacing, he's just steamrolling his opponents. Yes, Mr. E is finally able to get back. Nice little jabs to put Cody in the corner. You know, Cody is all about that commitment. They're, we they're wearing the wedding dress. They're just waiting hey, for the right person. Hey, man. Sometimes you just got to walk down the aisle. And Mr. E is not Luc worthy. I was going to say, or you walk the Lucina down the aisle. Uh, Krom could not make it today. <laughs> so Peach having to stand in and, uh, you know, to, to send his daughter off to the Blasto. I never played Fire Emblem. <laughs> what? Yeah, Lucina is Krom's daughter. Yeah. yeah. So... Krom, Krom has to walk Lucina down the yeah, aisle. But that's that tradition. Couldn't. How many Revolt. weddings have you been to? <laughs> Too many. You should know this by now. It's always Corinthians and walking the daughter down the aisle. Always Corinthians. I, I'm Jewish. Okay. We don't do Corinthians. I, I, you don't do Corinthians? No. Man, aren't you lucky? You don't get the same we thing every time. We step on glass, though. Molotov. Oh, no, wait. Uh, Mazel Tov. <laughs> 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 Mazel Tov, I mean. <laughs> hey, 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 Swiss, maybe a little too on the nose with the political commentary no, right now, okay? No, no. As we get into game number two. <laughs> We're back to this fire set here, Mr. E versus Cody. Who's going to throw and the first stop? And just like Swiss Rider's mind, we're here on Battlefield. Oh, Smash is always a battlefield, but love can bloom. We'll see who's going <laughs> to... It can even full bloom, in fact. Anyways. Yes. Uh, Shout random, out to full Yeah, bloom. random shilling aside. Uh, <laughs> we are going to get into the, into the set. So as as uh, Cody this time just came up a little too short. Yeah, Cody is not very happy with that stock. Losing in the first 40 seconds. I feel like it's a bit of a tradition here where if you are losing that first stock in the first minute, you are in a disadvantage. It's a little bit indicative of the pace of the match here. You're always going to be fighting from behind. Oh, that nice. was a beautiful little conversion from Mr. E. Getting the Z-drop into the shield break tipper. Now, though, finding the pressure at the ledge. And he is playing so much more aggressive in this game, too. Smothering Cody. Not giving him the space to get those turnips and create that mid-range bubble. Mr. Oh, e that no longer respects like Cody. Success. And that's for good reason. He's finding all of his hits. That shield's so small, but it doesn't matter as I, long as they get the grab. I would actually argue the opposite. I think he has a greater respect for Cody, and that's why he's playing this aggressive, because he knows that he can't give him that mid-range and get away with it. Yeah, it's nice for Mr. E, but it's also where Peach gets all, kind of to set up her zone of control and execute her game plan. Mr. E said, okay, fine, I literally cannot let you do that because your game plan is good enough that you will beat me. 
Yes, all right. Unfortunately, no conversion from Sharky in the platform. Mm -hmm. As they, oh, what a tech. And hey, there's the Mr. Saturn back again. <gasps> Unfortunately, Jay is not go. able to join me here on the mic to see a potential little shield break against Peach, but we, she no! wanted one and not gonna find it either. Maybe we'll get a third one here tonight, Swiss, but for now it's just gonna be Cody trying to lock down the edge guard and take a stock of this game. You wanna know what I wanna hear, see? I wanna see a bomb. Oh, well, that, that little hit was a bomb, though, as yeah. Cody finally gets that first stock. Swiss, you're talking about Molotovs and bombs. I'm really concerned. Are you I, okay? I've been on fire today. <laughs> um, Work-wise. So you might want to get that one checked out. <laughs> yeah. um, All right, time to take a sick day tomorrow, then. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Mr. E playing out of his mind here. Yep, I like the Nair there to control this p positioning, but once again, just overextending a little bit past life. Ooh. Cody, for the first time, all set, dropping an edge guard, and Mr. E gonna push that one to the limit. Hitting that could have given him a window back into this game, but now he is at wits, and he needs to find something and fast, Swiss Rider. And, okay, avoiding that turn up. What are we gonna see here? It's a little difficult to get back on stage, and what good coverage with that up smash. So Cody's gonna have to try and go for a cheesy kill here. 164, Mr. E, no damage. This is gonna be tough. And Mr. E trying to swing and a miss. That beautiful back air out of shields taking that second game. Uh, swing and a miss and a swing and a hit. That's right. A better, better. You know what? It's, uh, that's why you, uh, you get three strikes in baseball. You, can, you always get another chance. I'm, I'm really glad you said the word three there like you intended to and not something else. What? I'm not going to finish that joke. Okay. Listen, Swiss. I don't know what's in the air today. The air of victory. Lucina supremacy. Stop! <laughs> Stop! What? <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. Okay. Um, we'll, watch, we'll watch the block later, I'll tell you. But moving on. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> All right. Last game of this set, winner semis, who's going to go on. And I like the change to Small Battlefield. Small Battlefield, but still a brawl. Yep, removing the top platform, a little bit less space. I I think Cody enjoys it because it forces, it doesn't let Mr. E get away from him. It forces him to have to contest these turnip tosses a little bit more, which can give Cody opportunities like the bread and butter you just saw to find you to the coast, or just get some turnips in hand and get an early edge guard. That being said, the smaller stage size does mean you have to scrap against Lucina more. And so I think either way, it, this is going to be the most explosive game we've seen this set. And Mr. E not giving Cody any space, misses the forward smash. Are yeah, they gonna go back on stage? Tricky okay. little wiggle on the timing there on the descent from Cody, it's managed to avoid oh, that no. one. Um, but not able to lock it down, find the second turn of toss to close out the stock. So instead, it's just gonna be a scramble. Mr. E could still take this one, but he has to win neutral first, and Cody right now is playing absolutely mistake for it. Yeah, going for that shield breaker. Cody could have parried that, but it's always difficult, especially when Mr. E doesn't use that consistently. Only comes out when needed. Oh, saving their jump, but getting sniped by the turn up. Oh, do it again. No, he's like, I don't want to do that again. Cody was ready for it. Had that in hand. He's like, try it again. I dare you. And uh, missing that air dodge onto the ledge. Uh, Mr. E getting that one for free. Yeah, uh, Cody decided to take the truth when you offered the dare, my friend. Because <laughs> it did not work out at all. Now, though, trapped at ledge. Relatively even scenario. You just have to avoid getting hit by that down air because you know Mr. E's going to pull it out seven days he's a week. He's looking for a way in, but not having the space here with only a platform between them to pull the turn of it, and that's the Ooh. downside of a small battlefield, right? I'm liking the thinking of that Dolphin Slash to get out of that mm -hmm. combo, but uh, if you do call that out, it is easily punishable. Mm -hmm. Especially with no top platform to land on. And, like, the big question is here is watch the spacing between the two when Cody's pulling these turnips. Right, Mr. E, every time he has an opportunity, is trying to close that gap shorter than to a platform length they shorter, because that's where Mr. E can actually whip punish you for pulling turnip, and that's where he's really pushing these advantages. Wow, waiting for that grab. Mr. E kind of with a small pop-off being like, I can't believe I got that. Cody just having to nod their head. All right, trying to cover the air. Nothing. Nice beautiful, I was gonna say, beautiful float mix up from Cody too, but got kind of got caught just there. 
on the double jump afterwards, some poor DI and closing it out. Now it's the Mr. E show, and it feels like Cody's incredible defense has all but crumbled. Just not able to get oh. anything started. The download is complete, he, but Cody not out of this yet. It's just one sock away. He just needs to find the hit. All right, Mr. E looking to finish this off, but off the ledge, turn up in hand. It's no stitch, but beautiful into a crown. And what do we see here? Ooh, that was so dangerous. Oh no. This is the way exactly what Cody wanted. Oh, he, went for the, no! he went for the parasol. That would have been the clip of the, the year with Peach. But, but instead, you can't he must always fall on be the fancy. Sword. You can't always be fancy. You gotta got clutch it out first. That knowing smile being I mean, like I had it! The gate in the game of Thrones, Swiss Rider. Yeah. You either win. Or you die. Or you and have Cody a really tried bad to win. This one, not as bad as season six, but you know. No, Cody tried better. to win and Cody died. That's, I'm quoting the book. Oh, yes. and, I never the, read the, and books. the movies. Or the the TV. movies? I, I mean, don't they're know. long enough to be movies. At this point, it's all the same, right? That's Look at right. Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Disney Plus? I think it's on HBO, no? Game of Thrones? I don't know. We are totally <laughs> off the mark when it comes to references today. But you know what? You will be on the mark for subscribing here to our Twitch channel, House of 3000, and tuning in every single Wednesday. House of 3000.